so wait let's a simple short tutorial okay so for the this short right the measurements you need are your waist measurement right your crotch measurement your lap measurement your hip measurement and then the length of your shorts so or your knicker right so these are the measurements you need now mind you the measurements up your lap measurement by two okay is to fold your material into two like so we're going to first of all draft out the front part okay what you need to do is to get your different measurements right your your lap measurements you are going to divide your lap circumference by two your hip is going to be divided by four your waist by four just your lap you're going to be dividing by two so when drafting out that means you're going to remove two inches from the upper part that's going to get your waist your your band right so you're removing you're going to be giving two inches on top that's for your band right then you take your measurement from your waist to your crotch, right from your waist to your crotch measurements we're working with then from your waist to your lap now your lap measurement is three in so your lap measurement is three inches below your waistline okay so if your crotch line is seven that means your lap measurement is going to be three it's going to be ten sorry you get so always know that your lap is three inches below your crotch line okay so remember the measurements we are going to mark are from your waist to your hip line your waist to your crotch your waist to your lap line your lap line is three inches below your crotch line then the length of your shorts remember we're not making a trouser i already have a tutorial on how to draft a perfect trouser you can watch that tutorial this simple tutorial is just how to draft a shorts for yourself a shorts you can wear at home or even go out okay just a simple shorts okay so this tutorial is mainly for my new subscribers if you are new to my channel thank you for subscribing and click on the notification bell okay so now we've gotten our lines it's time for us to impute our measurements so the first measurement you need to impute is your hip measurement right so your hip divided by four plus your allowance whatever you get you mark it on your waistline your hip line and your crotch line then you draw a straight line can you see so the first measurement you need to mark is what your hip measurement your hip measurement divided by four plus allowance now to get your crotch extension that's to extend your crotch line you remember what we did to get your crotch, crotch extension what you need to do is your hip line divided by four whatever you get you divide it by four again that's what's going to give you how many inches you are going to extend your crotch line so for example let's say your hip line your hip circumference is 20 right 20 divided by 4 will give you 5 right then 5 you divide it by 4 again will give you what i think 1 5 divided by 4 i think 1.1 or 1. Point something that's how that's the the in, how many inches you're going to use to extend your crotch line now i've extended my crotch line by 1 inch and then on my hip line i'm going to come out by what half an inch and then i'll join them together so remember this is just an illustration not an exact measurement okay now when we've gotten our crotch extension now it's time for us to impute our original waist measurement so from that crotch line that we marked that original line you mark your waist line that's your waist circumference divided by four plus allowance whatever you get you connect it to your hip line at the other part this is what i did then now to get the correct measurement for our knee line our lap line you mark you measure your crotch line from your crotch extension down the complete crotch measurement right the straight line whatever you get you divide it by two so let's say for example from your crotch extension you know we extended this crotch by one inch right let's say we extended it by one inch and our crotch line is eight so if you want to divide the line into equal parts it's going to give us what the midpoint is going to be four so you mark a straight line right now on that straight line to get our lap measurements your lap divided by two plus allowance so if your lap circumference is for example 12 if the circumference of your lap is 12 divided by two is going to give you what six so one part is going to give you one part is going to give you three inches the other part is going to give you three inches that's six you get that's why we marked that midpoint line can you see so one part give you three inches 
the other part is going to give you three inches to complete that six inches so the reason why we're marking this straight line in the middle is just to give the trouser like a, a form a center point right so the same measurement i marked for my lap line that is what i marked for the length of the trouser okay i didn't i didn't want to the trouser to be pencil or anything no just simple straight trouser straight short sorry okay hope you understand this front part so this is just basically how to get the front part remember the measurements i use for this tutorial are just um they're not correct like they're not um, like a perfect fitting do you get it's just for a tutorial if you have a question let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to explain to you okay so this is how to draft your simple shorts at home you don't need to be scared to draft a short or a knicker you want to use for yourself at home it's very easy all right so this is the pattern for the front part now for the back part the only difference between the front and the back part is your crotch extension for the back part and then the waistline of the back part now let me explain it to you you know your back part inculcates your hip line right it inculcates your butt not your hip line your butt and then when you sit down you find out that your your waist for your back part is higher so to cover up your hip line, that's just what is going to give us the difference between the front pattern and the back pattern. So for the back pattern on the waist part, on the waistline, you go up by 2 inches. Can you see what I'm doing? You go up by 2 inches. Can you see how I place my tape? So you're going to extend that crotch line upwards by 2 inches. That's the first thing you need to do. Then the next thing you need to do is on your crotch extension, you extend your crotch to inculcate your butt the butt of your client so you extend your crotch by two inches can you see what i'm doing and then you connect the lines to the original um the original pattern of the front that's just the difference between the front and the back remember we've already added our sewing allowances so we don't really don't need to add any allowance again we've added our sewing allowance to the front pattern and we're using the front pattern to cut the back pattern the only difference is the crotch extension and the waistline so now we've extended the waist of the back part by two inches now we're going to connect it can you see how we connected it slantly to the other side that other side is the part is the sides of our trouser the two sides of our trouser so the part that went up, the waistline that went up is our center back, center back, right? Why the part that is the same um, measurement with the front part is our side, right? So you just cut it out and you're good to go. So this is how to get your pattern for a simple shot you can wear at home. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. I hope it wasn't so fast, but if you have any question, let me know in the comment section i'm going to explain better for you i i have other tutorials on how to draft a short a trouser too so you can still watch those ones okay so i hope this is beginner friendly and is understandable thank you guys for watching thank you to my old subscribers welcome to my new subscribers please share the videos and like subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notification for new tutorial videos okay so guys we are good to go this is our back pattern and that is our front pattern let me know if you want me to show you how to join and couple in your shorts together so thank you guys for watching and see you on my next tutorial okay and hope you try this pattern to know if it's going to be good for your outfit okay thank you for watching see you on my next tutorial bye